how beautiful it is. To be glad of life because it gives you the chance to love and to walk and to play and to look up at the stars. What does life in space do to you? From trouble sleeping to wimpy muscles, living on board, the International Space Station really does a number on the human body. Get to know how your body could react to life in orbit with these six weird facts. You grow taller during the six months that most astronauts spend on the International Space Station. They can grow up to 3% taller. Without gravity, the spine is free to expand, making the space flyers taller even when they first return to Earth. The astronauts return to their pre-flight height after a few months of being back within the planet's gravity. Puffy faces and skinny legs When on Earth, the fluids in the human body are distributed unevenly because of gravity. Most fluid pools in the lower extremities, leaving little fluid in the top of the body. Life in orbit changes all of that. For the first few weeks of space flight, most astronauts appeared to have a puffy head and skinny legs. The fluid in their body redistributes evenly when gravity isn't playing a role in their biological systems. After a little time in orbit, however, the body adapts to the new distribution of fluids and the astronaut don't appear as puffy. Coordination Conundrum After Landing After coming home from a stint on the space station, many astronauts have reported difficulty adjusting back to gravity. Sometimes, space flyers will drop things forgetting that gravity is influential back on Earth. After six months in microgravity conditions, it is difficult to adjust to life in a place where materials fall if you drop them. Muzzle Mass Meltdown In the weightlessness of space, muscles are needed to support the body. An astronaut's muscle start to adapt to that change almost immediately. Instead of maintaining the usual base of muscle mass needed for life on Earth, Astronauts' bodies quickly get to work riding themselves off unnecessary tissue. Although this might be ideal in space, it's problematic once back on Earth. Astronauts have to exercise for two hours a day on the space station just to maintain a healthy amount of muscle mass that they will need once they are back on the planet. Bone Density Loss All that exercise on the space station also helps prevent bone density loss. Each month, Astronauts could lose up to 1% of their bone density if they don't get enough exercise. There are two treadmills and two stationary bicycles on board the space station to help the residents keep in shape during their time in orbit. You can't sleep. Astronauts have reported seeing flashes of light sap through their eyes as they try to rest, making it difficult for them to sleep on the space station. The flashes are actual from cosmic rays, high energy particles that beam through the solar system shooting through the orbiting outpost. Space flyers have described the flashes as fireworks or streaks. Although the radiation from cosmic rays can build up over time, the particles don't pose too much of a risk during the limited time that astronauts spend on the space station. Thanks guys for watching this video. I will back with the next one. Next one. Next one. Next one. Next one.